wife's best friend, Wendy. I always been the life of the party. She come and chill with my girl, let her crib all three of All right. TV's on. I'm hard as fuck right now. I don't know, I just got my lotion ready now. All right. Getting ready for this shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um... Uh, this is g -Vent here, reminding you to, uh, uh, put lotion on yourself. Yeah, you don't want to have dry-ass skin, right? That's exactly what I'm doing with this lotion. I was definitely not gonna do anything else with it. Believe what you want to believe. <laughs> okay. What is up, my fellow hip hop heads and music lovers in general? My name is Jeevens and welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome back to the second upload, to the second review of the day. Uh, let's get right to it because I don't know if I have anything, anything else to say about this. Uh, so today I'm gonna be talking about the fourth studio album by the one and only Young Buck. And the album is called Compulsive. Um, okay. I don't know how to feel about this. Um, first things first, it's been a long ass time since we've heard uh, Young Buck come out with a full fucking like full length album. It's been like what, 10 years? I think in like, oh. Probably wouldn't say 10 years, or maybe it was 10 years. I can't fucking remember anymore. Um, but he he he's hasn't like dropped a studio album since uh, to the 2010, and like you know that album was called The Rehab. Um, so I didn't know what to expect when I heard today that Young Young Buck came out with some new shit. Um, first things first, this man. <laughs> and 50 cent have been fucking going they've been going like like at each other's throats and shit it's like uh like like i don't know if you guys follow 50 cent on twitter um he's low-key becoming sort of like a piece of shit because he's like making fun of everybody um but that's the reason i follow 50 cent in the first place because he's like fucking throwing shade at people and it's like it's like it's like the most like funniest but stupidest shit ever um but apparently he's been throwing shots at Young Buck recently. Um, all, all the tweets were deleted, which kind of like makes it, makes 50 look bad, but you know, I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not drama alert. Um, but, but he's been, I guess, spreading rumors or like, or like being, being a menace to Young Buck. Um, but thankfully Young Buck was the bigger person and decided not to like I guess not to throw shots at him back and just focus on making music which you know what I'm kind of glad he did do that um let's see so first things first young buck um he, he's an independent rapper now uh, you know he, he he's he's been like out of G unit for the longest time ever uh, I don't think uh, G Unit is even like a thing anymore. I, don't, I think like all of them just went their separate paths, which you know I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because I know there's like there's like a few rappers from G Unit that like aren't really doing good anymore. Um, but hey, it's all it's it's how the game works. Um, but yeah, like I said, Young Buck is an independent rapper now. Uh, you know he like. I wouldn't say he has his own label. Well, I guess he does. I guess that's what being independent means. Um, but like you know, he ha he's been like he he's been pretty much uh, working like uh, on music to get not to like first get back to his uh, first roots or like to his original roots, I guess. But also to try and adapt to a uh, modern day times because Lord knows, like a lot of the OGs have to adapt because you know 
shit's changing. Um, although I personally don't believe in that, I know there's a lot of people that do, so that's why they're trying to do it. Um, so pretty much this album is a solid mix of Young Buck giving, uh, or I guess doing like like his like his like original sound and voice that his fans are familiar with, but he also mix it with him trying to adapt to the new trap like wave and trend or whatever y'all want to call it um it's a huh hold on give me a minute i'm trying to i'm trying to, to remember what I, what I was gonna say um oh yeah the genre of this album is pretty much that old head like trap sort of vibe um it's pretty much what T.I. has been doing. I don't know if you guys heard um, his album that came out last year. It's called Dime Trap. And uh, it, it's pretty much like, you know, an old, like, an OG, like, doing his, like, ver his, like, own version of Trap. Um, I know I know it sounds kind of stupid, you know, like, old head Trap music. But it's it, it's honestly um, a pretty, like, good sound. In, in, my, in my opinion, if this fucking dog does not stop. Oh, my God. He's been he's been barking this whole time, but you know what? I'm not even going to pay attention to it no more. Um, but anyways, um, but anyways, uh, Young Buck is doing a whole like an, an old head trap music, which, like I said, sounds sounds pretty fucking good in my opinion. Um, this this album is is pretty much for for the old heads so this one is for you guys um i'm both an old head and like like a, a new school type shit like lover so i don't really mind i don't really care um i'm not i'm not on any side i just i just want to listen to music and i like determine what's good and what not and what's not good um but uh young buck is 38 is he, he's 38 now right and you would think someone at 38 years old he would um like i guess get over the street life and like get away from the street life but he is far from it um young buck is here you know he he once again you know shares his knowledge of like what it's like living in the street both the ups and the downs um you know um although it's mostly the ups i think i've only heard one song that is kind of like like a sad song and that's the fourth track. I kind of forgot what it was called, um, but I'll put it at the end. That, that's, that's my favorite song. Um, but pretty much that that song talks about you know the the struggles of of you know of you know living the street life and why you know people who live in the streets do what they do. Like like I guess. I guess kind of given like like their pr perspective because I feel like people who like you know judge anybody live living the the street life don't know the bigger picture you know like they're doing this for a reason they're, they're not doing it to like be hard or be tough or like show people they're the shit it's just like you know when when you were doomed from the start you gotta do something about it and you, you gotta do whatever uh whatever you got to do to survive out here and, you know to to not only provide for yourself but for your family for your kids you know i know young buck has a lot of people counting on him uh so i'm just I, i'm just i'm just really really glad to see that young buck is still working hard you know i don't know any other g g unit member out here that is still like doing their thing so the fact that young buck is still like is still working hard and is still like you know going at it you know props to you buck um you're you're still pretty dope i still you know i i i still listen to his music it's um i know it's just pretty old school and it's pretty like you know like old-fashioned and people probably don't probably want to like go past that now but i mean i like it. it like this whole album just feels very like nostalgic um but if you are a lover of trap i do recommend that you go with, listen to this album um just if you like trap in general like like you don't you don't even have to like young bucks you just just like listen to it if you want to um 
hear like some new trap music and like hear what the old head trap vibe sounds like um so yeah shout out to you buck um you know keep keep going i know this will not be this will hopefully not be the last thing i hear from you so keep it going my guy um and with that being said uh that's the end of this video uh, thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the review uh, once again, follow me on, on Instagram down below. As always, DM me for requests. Go ahead and follow uh, Young Buck on Instagram down below. Uh, go show some, some support. Uh, Compulsive is out now. So, yeah, go listen to it. And with that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next upload. And don't forget, stay happy. Crumbling cookies, cracking the window, stuffing raw cones. Yeah. Cross on the phone, Buck, I need some.